Chim Progetti is a company that operates in the design and supply of equipment and plant for the lime industry. The company's products range from vertical kilns for calcination of limestone and dolomite to complete quicklime hydration units. Customers from all over the world send carbonate rock samples to evaluate their suitability for the calcination process in our kilns. Chimp Progetti's laboratory is organized to support the client through all the different steps, from the design of the kiln to the following startup and subsequently for technical assistance and quality control of both the raw materials and the final products. Internal procedures for the characterization of our materials include chemical and physico-mechanical analyses coupled with burning and technological tests. Recently, mineralogical petrographic examinations deriving from our geological expertise have also been performed to evaluate the impact of the composition and microstructure of a specific stone on the quality and the final application of the industrial quick lime hydrated lime products. Preliminary lithological analysis is performed on the rock sample as received to evaluate general but important parameters such as color, apparent density, porosity and occasional superficial dust. Subsequently, samples are washed and cut with a diamond wire in the form of a prism of a standard dimension. Prisms of rock are polished using a glossy spray and macroscopic description is performed according to geological classifications. The same sample is finally used to create a thin section of 30 microns thickness which is analyzed using a polarizing microscope. This is the so-called petrographic analysis which is generally used for the mineralogical and microstructural analysis of the stone. Carbonate microfaces are described according to the Folk Dunham Embryon Cloven classification and other more recent ones. Petrographic analysis allows us to distinguish mud supported and grain supported depositional or primary macrofaces characteristic of sedimentary carbonate rocks from secondary or recrystallized microfaces characteristic of diagenetic and metamorphic carbonate rocks. Moreover, using software packages of the image analysis, it is also possible to extrapolate numerical information for quantitative analysis. For example, it is possible to determine the micrite to sparite ratio, as well as the crystal size distribution. Mm -hmm. 
The burning attitude is evaluated with a standard burnability test, which is approximately equivalent to a thermogravimetric analysis, but is carried out on bulk rock samples, considering the ignition loss after a certain time at a certain temperature. The overburning test at 1300 degrees centigrade, according to the internal method invented by Cimprogetti, allows us to predict and simulate the stickiness and the agglomeration of lime at the maximum temperature of the kiln. This test is recognized worldwide by many lime producers as a standard for testing lime agglomeration in twin shaft regenerative TSR kilns. Some stones are crushed and subsequently the granules are brought into contact with powder from the same sample, then calcinated at 1300 degrees centigrade for three hours. The preparation consists in placing three layers into a quartz crucible as follows. One, a bottom layer of 50 grams of stone crushed to between 3.35 and 6.3 millimeters. Two, an intermediate layer of 10 grams of powder, less than 63 micrometers. And finally, three, a top layer of 15 grams of stone crushed to between 3.35 and 6.3 millimeters. The crucible is placed into the muffle furnace at 1300 degrees centigrade. At the end of the test, the crucible is cooled for a while. The preliminary visual inspection allows us to evaluate if the sample is partially melted and weighed. The cleaning operation must be done as quickly as possible because blocks upon cooling could have a tendency to disintegrate. Finally, block weights and sticking tendency are calculated. Samples weighing more than 20 grams, corresponding to 47.6%, are considered unacceptable. The reactivity of building lime is evaluated according to the slaking test method. In conformity with the European EN 459-2 or American C110-03 standards. Both standards evaluate the temperature rise occurring on reaction with water as a function of the reaction time. As a reminder, T60 is the time, in minutes, needed to reach a temperature of 60 degrees centigrade. The higher T60 is, the slower the reactivity. The impurity content of the carbonate rock could be a particular problem in the production of high calcium quicklime, even if this content is lower than 5%. Indeed, a specific procedure designed for the separation of the insoluble residue from the matrix of the carbonate rock has been adopted.
Finally, the insoluble residue can be submitted to chemical and mineralogical analysis to determine the type and content of clay minerals. <laughs>